Every year we have questions on how the deer lottery works. Today we're going to visit with Kayla Bendel, our three coordinator, and Brian Hozik with Administrative Services and talk about the deer lottery and hunting opportunities. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Brian, explain, how does the deer lottery work? Right, so there's there's different sides of this. There's that, that first deer lottery that comes in. So all the applicants that put in by the deadline go through that first choice, first unit lottery. And after that runs, it's it's basically taking the allocated numbers away from that, that species and unit. After that, it goes into the, the second drawing. Now, this one doesn't affect your bonus points. So if you get your second choice, second unit, and you're successful in that, that does not affect your, or unsuccessful in that, you're not, you're not losing bonus points, you still gain your bonus points even if you are successful in that. Um, then after that, there is an unsuccessful uh, lottery application that's, that many put in. Some will, there'll be a deadline for that as well. So for those that have been unsuccessful in the lottery, they can, they can put, and applied in the first one, they can then put in their, uh, for the unsuccessful applicant lottery. But also there's the, uh, you know, there's, there's muzzle loader that's in the mix here too. And we have a lot of the, the, uh, the de youth deer tags that are also out there as well. A couple of legislative sessions ago, they implemented if you're out of town or if you're gone or, and you, for, or you forget to put in for, uh, for a deer tag, you don't lose your bonus point. Yeah, we have that. Um, well, you, you are able, if you forget to apply, you can go two years before you actually would lose your bonus points. But there is an option out there to purchase a bonus point. So if you're, um, if you're not interested in drawing that area, like you said, you're going to be gone. You can go out there and utilize that option to, to purchase a point and, and uh, increase your points for the next, next season. Kayla, give us some tips on how to get drawn for a deer tag. Yeah, for sure. Well, um, you may not be able to always hunt in the unit that you want or the species and sex that you want to hunt, um, but you can go to our website and find a lot of great resources like license availability and um, the lottery statistics table, and you may be able to find other opportunities. Um, lots of units have both mule deer and white-tailed doe tags. Um, obviously in greater allocation and they're less sought after. Um, so I think, for example, what I do and a lot of people do is put in for the unit and type that they want, uh, gain that bonus point, as Brian explained, and then in their second choice, draw a doe tag. Um, and the other thing I really like about that is instead of not hunting for the years I'm waiting, um, I'm spending time out there enjoying the outdoors and then also get putting in some scouting work um, for when I do have that coveted mule deer buck tag, so. Game and Fish manages uh, their deer population by units. So some units may have more tags than others. Explain that a little bit. Yeah, you can take a look at your odds of drawing each type of tag and each sex and each unit. Um, and then you can, yeah, compare that to the map, maybe see if you that's close to you or there's maybe a lot of public land or you know somebody who owns land um, and maybe just explore traveling to a different unit while you're waiting for the tag that you desire the most. And in our February magazine, North Dakota Outdoors magazine and on our Game of Fish website, it goes unit by unit and how many people applied and how many people were successful essentially from last year. Yep, both of those resources um, available if you still have your copy or also available on our website. Yep. Yeah, those licenses are allocated by unit and so and species. So as those as each person comes in, there's a successful applicant, it'll decrement that by one and and um, yeah. And our deer population, our deer licenses available in 2021 went up. Yeah, so there'll be a few more tags out there in the landscape, um, but yeah, more opportunities out there. Brian, simply explain how the bonus point system works. So when you come into the system the first time, you don't, you don't have any bonus points. You're basically putting your name in the, in the hat once. Um, as, you, as you apply for that first lottery and you're unsuccessful in that first unit, first choice, um, you do gain a bonus point every, every year you're unsuccessful. So when, as you're progressing through this, there is a multiplier that goes in. So uh, year two, you, your name may be in the hat three times, year three, be in there five times and then once you reach a certain point there's a it, that multiplier is cubed so we're looking at um, you know your greater chances to draw um, increase significantly after that um, as you as you draw and you're successful on that first choice first unit again as, as Kayla mentioned there's some there's a second choice option but as you draw on that first choice first unit um, your bonus points are reset back to zero also Brian a lot of people apply as a party, so to right. speak. What, what does that do yeah. for your bonus points? So uh, the tough thing with the party is, is you're going in, the number of people you go in with, um, you're coming into that, into that lottery with the lowest bonus points. So for example, Mike, if you have 
five bonus points and I have one and we're going in as a party because we, we, we either want to hunt together or not. Um, we're both going to go, we're basically going to be putting in one application with the one bonus point. So um, your chances probably would have been better going in by, on your, by yourself, but that the point of the party application is is that uh, we, we either both want to hunt or not. So um, yeah. That's so it. if you have five bonus points and Kayla has one, make her apply by herself. That, that application is going to go in with the, the one bonus point, yeah. A single application. However, you know, if that one's drawn, obviously everyone in the party will be drawn for that, that species. And there are ways that will better your odds to draw a deer tag. Yeah, you may not be able to hunt exactly where you want, um, but putting in for lesser sought after tags like doe tags um, are a great way to increase your odds. Kayla, how about new hunters? What are the opportunities out for new or youth hunters? So we have a number of youth licenses and lotteries available. Um, for 11, 12, and 13 year olds, we have our guaranteed whitetail doe tags. Um, for 14 and 15 year olds, we have our any deer lottery that they can put in for, um, except for antlered mule deer in some of those western units. Um, and then we also have mule deer tags that 14 and 15 year olds can put into a lottery for as well. Um, first time hunters, again, looking at doe tags would be a great option to make sure you increase your chances of drawing and just kind of gain some experience. Um, you will need to have either your hunter education certification or um, your, you can use an apprentice license to apply for the deer lottery. Um, and if you received an apprentice license last year, we did um, extend that into this year as well. So you have another year to finish your hunter ed. Okay, so if I want a deer hunt, what should I do? Make sure you have your hunter education, or if not, uh, maybe make plans to do that, uh, but you can you know, purchase your apprentice license online or by calling in, and that basically just gives you um, an exemption from hunter ed for a year if you hunt with somebody else uh, who has a licensed adult who has hunter ed. Um, and then make sure you put in for the lottery in time and maybe look at those some of those resources to figure out where you wanna go. Deer deadline is when? June 2nd, so open now. Um, take the time to look through those resources and make sure you get everything in by June 2nd. Best way to apply, Brian. Uh, gf.ndy.gov and visit my account. A lot of great information. Thank you.